Hello and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Sherry and today is Wacky Wednesday. So today we are making Kool-Aid pickles. But before I get started, if this is your first time here, you love food, you love fun, you love wacky recipes, but most importantly, you love helping out a good cause, make sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell and check the description below for the details on how subscribing helps to feed the hungry. Okay, so Kool-Aid pickles. I made these a couple of years ago and I thought they were horrendous. I did not like them one bit. <laughs> But apparently there are plenty of people out there that think these things are great. So I thought maybe I used the wrong flavor. I think I used tropical like fruit punch last time. So this time I got black cherry and orange. And I thought maybe someone out there. Actually, I'm kind of doing this to get you guys opinion. <laughs> Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. If you've had them before, if you think they're good. All right. So all you need is your pickles, your sugar and your Kool-Aid. Now, typically you're going to get a big jar of pickles like the 32 ounce. I didn't buy the 32 ounce because I didn't like them last time. <laughs> thought if I don't like them again, I shouldn't get the big jar. So I have a 17 ounce jar. If you use a 32 ounce jar, you're going to want three quarters of a cup of sugar and a packet of Kool-Aid for each jar. This is 17 ounces. So I'm just going to do like a third of a cup, but I might still use like the full package of Kool-Aid. So we are just going to dump out our liquid. We're going to add in a third of a cup of sugar. Try to get it to dissolve as best we can. And then we're going to add in our Kool-Aid packet. And it's okay if it's not completely dissolved. These are going to sit in the fridge for about a week. And so you can just go in there and kind of shake them up every day. Oh, it looks like I'm making jello. <laughs> That's what I feel like I'm making. Yeah, and as you can see, our Kool-Aid's not completely dissolving, but that's all right. All right, so now we're just going to pour this back over our pickles. And again, these are going to take anywhere from five days to seven days. I'll let them sit in there a full week. So that's our orange flavored ones. I'm going to dump the rest of it out. Well, hopefully those are sweet. There's so little sugar left in here. So the next one we're going to do, dump the liquid out of this one. Another third cup of sugar. And this time, black cherry. I almost said blackberry. Blackberry might be nice. So I'll give it a good stir again. All right, I'm going to keep stirring this time. That way, I know that I'm getting all that sugar in there. Yeah, these are going to be really colorful. <laughs> well, I thought I was getting all this sugar in there. There's still quite a bit in the bottom. But, you know, again, I think it's okay because I'm only using a 17-ounce jar versus a 32-ounce jar. So there you have it. I need to make new labels that say Kool-Aid pickles. <laughs> People are going to get in the fridge and wonder what the heck these things are. All right, so in the fridge, they're going to go for about a week. Time to try the pickles. These have been marinating for 10 days now, I think. <laughs> I've been procrastinating because I'm afraid I won't like them. And now I'm afraid I did myself a disservice because they're probably stronger now that they've been soaking for 10 days versus a week. <laughs> anyway, time to open them up. And I don't know, they don't look real strong though. They don't look like super colorful. So I have, what do we use? Black cherry. Black cherry. Oh, that's pretty colorful and orange. These don't particularly look colorful. Oh yeah, they do. Yeah, they're pretty colorful. <laughs> All right, which one to taste first? I'm gonna go with orange. <laughs> the one that looks not as strong. That one isn't bad. <laughs> It's not bad. That one reminds me of a sweet and sour pickle or like a bread and butter pickle with a bit of orange. That one actually isn't bad. It's not bad. I better take a bite of this one though. So this one's the black cherry. It's not bad either. <laughs> I'm wondering if it's the flavor I used last time. Like I said, I think I used fruit punch. So maybe I didn't care for it. Maybe I didn't put enough sugar in last time. I don't know. These actually aren't bad. Maybe I was in a bad mood last time. <laughs> I don't know. But I had to Google for these. I was kind of trying to figure out how I should photograph them because they're not really pretty. And I ran across the actual brand of the Kool-Aid pickles that they sell in the store. And it's actually the Walmart brand. It's great value and they're called Tropicals. So I guess they're like a tropical flavor. And those were the ones, well, I had tasted those and I also had these and I didn't care for any of them. And apparently in the South, they're called Kulikals. 
or wherever they make them, they're called Kulikles. But the Great Value brand, you can only find in the South. I think that's what it is about the South. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. If they have them where you live, pick up a jar and let me know if you like them or not. Or better yet, make them like I did and let me know what you think in the comments below. I thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.